Hello everyone. This model question is regarding the troposphere. Now, aviators of jet aeroplanes often avoid troposphere. What could be the main reason or reasons? Now, if you look at uh, different atmospheric layers, the troposphere we are having like majority of the weather events taking place in the troposphere and in the we are having different layers like troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, like the thermosphere, like that, right? Or in all these layers, like the troposphere, we are having more cloud formations, more weather events and weather changes etc taking place in the troposphere. Beyond the troposphere, we are having calm conditions, right? We are not having any uh, any upward moving wind. Now, you all must be knowing like with insulation, like we'll be having upward moving winds which are creating the clouds. And this phenomenon is limited to the troposphere. Beyond troposphere, we are not having upward moving wind. Now, in the case of aviation, right? Uh, this upward moving wind is not suitable for aviation, right? Rather than we should be having horizontally moving air, right? Horizontally moving wind should be there for aviation. And for various, re for these reasons, the uh, the jet aeroplanes they often avoid flying through the troposphere. Now, if you are being asked, like uh, the jet aeroplanes, they completely avoid troposphere, which is wrong, right? Without flying through the troposphere, they cannot reach the stratosphere. So the idea is like you know, in order to increase the efficiency of aviation right if you are taking a long flight in, they will be fly, they will be climbing up all the way up till the stratosphere then we will be able to, we will be flying through the stratosphere so what why we are doing so in order to avoid the risk factors involved with say the reduced visibility in the troposphere because of the cloud formations and weather events and like reduce risk factor like you know say if you are having thunderstorms or climate I mean cyclones it will be hampering the aviation right so if you are having short flight right you know I mean this way of climbing all the way up to the stratosphere be economical so if you are taking long flight in order to increase the fuel efficiency, in order to reduce the hindrance, we will be uh, climbing all the way up to the stratosphere. Then we will be flying through the lower stratosphere or you can say upper stratosphere. Right? So coming back to the question, aviators, aviators of jet aeroplanes often avoid troposphere. What could be the main reason or reasons? Presence of bumpy air pockets and weather phenomena in the troposphere. So here bumpy air pocket means regions where we are having uh, change in pressure. Now think about this, if you are traveling through road and there is pothole, right, the movement will be jerky. Same way, if there is pressure changes in the atmosphere, the movement of the, I mean, movement of the jet aeroplanes, it will be, I mean, it will be jerky. So since the weather phenomena are taking place in the troposphere, we will be having those regions where the pressure changes are there. And that we mean by bumpy air pockets. This st statement is directly lifted from NCERT itself. So the presence of bumpy air pockets and weather phenomena in the troposphere. This is one reason why we are avoiding flying through the troposphere. And the second one, there are vertical winds in the troposphere. As I have said, since we are having upward moving winds mainly due to the convective currents, right? Mainly due to the insulation. This upward moving wind is not suitable for the aviation. Rather than we need horizontal moving wind. So in the case of stratosphere, we are not having any upward moving wind. So why we are avoiding troposphere? One reason is we are having up vertical winds taking place in the uh, troposphere. For that reason here the answer comes out as C which is both 1 and 2.